what was the first ball python that you were pythons you were really interested in breeding? Like, what was the uh, morphs that you were looking um, at? Bumblebee. Bumblebee. In 2001, at the very first NARBC, um, uh, Kevin from Nerd had a couple bumblebees there, and I had never even seen those before. I mean, I knew that there were albinos and you know clowns. I think there was one clown in the country back then, or, or maybe there. Was, actually, there's probably several of them, but they weren't common. Pied was just starting to kind of really get going. Uh, there, there weren't a whole lot of different morphs, you know. I mean, it was very, very few compared to now. And uh, Kevin's booth was set up right across the aisle from mine at the first NARBC. And I had to stare at that bumblebee baby <laughs> all weekend long. And it was just driving me nuts. I'm like, how can there be a ball python with that kind of color and that oh, type of insane. pattern? So I decided that, um, at, you know, I decided whatever I had to do, I was going to produce those. And uh, so the next year, uh, actually, two years later, I bought a spider male and I got like a, a sub-adult pastel female. Very, very expensive investment. You know, at the time, spiders were going for about seventeen five. I think I paid like six thousand for that pastel female. Wow. So people that are out there buying, you know, spiders and pastels for hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, now, now. You know, just think they they start off very high. A lot of them, yeah. And you know, a lot of people think of that and they're like, wow, that must just make you sick right now to have those prices drop. But, you know, I have produced so many of them over the time that I'm sure I made my money back many times over. Well, then. that's going back to what I was saying, that, you know, because of what you do here is the reason why people like me and, and a lot of other people that are new to the ball python breeding can afford to do these things. Because, oh, yeah. you know, I wouldn't be able to spend we were, 10 grand, 5 grand on a snake yeah. at any given time. If you we know? were all still doing them in really small numbers, the prices would be so much higher, which in some ways would be good for the market. But in other ways, it, it, it would keep morphs out of the hands of a lot of people that would like them. You know, when I first started uh, back in like 2000, I started you know, accumulating some ball pythons. I got a group of adult breeder, normal females from someone. And then I started buying het males, like a het albino male, het pied male, a het azanthic, het caramel. I got several different het males because even those were $1,000 a piece back yeah. then. So I basically got het males bred into normal females hatch babies out, raise up all the females, bred those either back to the hat males or in some cases like the albino and the pied, I bought visibles in between that right. so that I was able to do that. But I mean that's a long, slow it's way to quite a few more. years just but to get to where you wanted to I didn't have be, any then. money to buy anything, you know, more expensive. I couldn't afford a, you know, a pied male is probably, you know, fifteen or twenty thousand dollars back then. I, I didn't know right. that. That's well I'm in that boat myself. That's why I'm you know I'm getting hats, you know what I mean, because I, I just don't have the money to uh, the money might be there, but I'm not allowed to spend it, <laughs> you know, and so it's a good way for me to get off the ground. And when I first started thinking about doing that, I was like, oh, I want this, I want that. But I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick to a couple different main things mm -hmm. and just really try to do the best I can with that. Yeah. I, uh, I, as much as I love this, I mean, as you all can see, well, there's, there's a there's lot going on. There's morphs out there to try to have some of everything. Ten years ago, my goal was to produce every morph in existence, back when there's only hundred or maybe 200 different combinations you know now there's yeah. what 5,000 6,000 something like that you just can't Crazy. do it all but but uh, going back to the bumblebee thing so I I got a spider male and a pastel female I raised those up and in 2005 I bred them together and I was able to produce two bumblebees they're both females so um, and luckily because I mean I'm, I've always been one to keep the first of everything new that I have so I've, I've sold a few firsts that I've hatched but most of them I have to keep and because it's a challenge you know it, I do, I do this because I love it, and I, I wanted one of those snakes. So it's an addiction, that's yeah. what I'm finding. <laughs> so, uh, I did keep one of the bumblebee females, and... Oh my gosh, gosh look at her. Kind of a Cajun easy I'll tell you what, it's, here, it's rare to see a female bumblebee that size as it is. Yeah, she's from 2005. I hatched out two, I sold one, I made most of my money back from the purchase of the original spider on that one bumblebee. She's gorgeous. And then this is the other one that I have here, and, and yeah, she's great. That's awesome. And of course, we just cleaned and you know did maintenance on this cage, and of course they pooped and they shed in there. But that's, that's what how they it do. works. <laughs> it's just no and getting around. And that male, and there's a het sunset. So I'm I'm right. kind of going the slow, the long, slow route with the sunset project, breeding het males to a variety of different females. Going to hold back all the female babies, and then breed those together, or breed them back to the to the uh, original het male, or maybe by then I'll even get a, a, a visual sunset. That's pretty cool, though, right there. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah I'm quite a, a few couple, years away from probably. making some crazy stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, about two to three years away, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if these possible has Just come out visuals. and I start growing them up, if they grow up quickly, I can, yeah, I should be able to produce visuals. and. We should be able years. to tell the heads, too. Yeah, the heads are they're a little, little bit different looking than a typical normal.